All right, Jason, thank you. And yeah, check this out. Mm. Strong winds are creating that dangerous situation out there in the Gulf. You can see it from this live shot. Baldwin County beaches are flying double red flags. It's not just dangerous, but it's illegal to enter in the water. Yeah, certainly that pounding surf could mean riptides as well. Spring breakers, they don't want to see this. Fox 2 News House Sherrick went to Gulf Place today to check on conditions there. Yeah, as expected, he found the weather system out in the Gulf has really just turned things up. It's a triple threat Tuesday at Gulf Shores beaches with double red flags warning folks to stay out of the water. First, you've got the heavy surf, which is still building. Then there's the lateral, fast moving east to west current. And finally, a very high rip current risk. If you're not trained to be able to see a rip current in this because of that east to west current that you're talking about, it can be extremely dangerous. And, and, and that's the main reason we have the uh, water closed. Are you having fun down there? I am having fun. What are you doing? Getting married. <laughs> well, you can't go in the water, so you might as well. Exactly, you know. play in the sand. Some folks got their feet wet at the water line or in tidal pools, while others had fun playing in the sand. Still others made the most of their beach day by just watching the surf crash and hanging out with family and friends. Oh, we're going to eat at Tacky Jacks and I guess go shopping. Go to football. Have to go to football. Walk around, hopefully, meet some new people. Hopefully the water calm down we go in later. Lifeguards in Gulf Shores kept a close eye on beachgoers today, patrolling the beach and having conversations with those who had notions of going in the water. Strong southeast winds pushing on shore from a low pressure system in the Gulf kicked the surf up overnight, dramatically increasing the risk for swimmers. Beach safety officials expect the conditions to worsen over the next 24 hours, with double red flags expected again tomorrow and rough conditions to continue for the next several days. And then the residual red afterwards, probably uh, the day after, two days after, to where it starts to come, come back down, the wind sh shifts, and the, uh, the surf will still be there, and we do expect red flags then. Now, it's those single red flag days uh, bordered by the double or the red double red flags that are the most dangerous. That's because even though swimmers are allowed back in the water on single red, there's still dangerous rip currents present. The Gulf Shores officials tell me that they reported 49 water rescues just last week on single red and yellow flag days. Now, as of right now today, the last check, there's been no calls for rescues either here in Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, or Fort Morgan. Live in Gulf Shores, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.